for the lightning round. Pit road is open. Who will come in? Who will stay out? I got Ollie Ollie in free. Uh, so far, everybody is on pit road. Everybody's on pit road. Now the question will be two, four. What adjustments? And Who now can get out first? the pit crews will earn their money. Yeah, you didn't want to be. <laughs> nobody wanted to be the dummy to stay out. <laughs> Matt? The 20 car, Tony Stewart stops straight. This will be a four tire stop. Two. Mikey Lingerfeld comes around to the left front. They made an air pressure adjustment. The 20 car, Stewart, was a little tight in the center of the corner. A little trouble in the rear, and he's down and away. The 88's going to beat him off to Dick. Jeff Gordon is also taking a four tire pit stop. Essentially, no changes. Wow, the race to the end of pit road is awesome. Rusty beats Gordon out there. I got it. There's. Look like there's some pushing the envelopes to me getting out of the pits. Jeremy Mayfield took two tires and got out with Ward Burton. But he's going to have to come back in. He'll pay the price. Speeding on pit road. Well, that was uh, the we two. Play, that's all we say. got, man. We know we ain't gonna do the it looked to me like there were several guys that were pushing the envelope getting out of the pits. Mayfield and Rusty. Here's a look at it. Now there's Mayfield, top of the screen. He's out of his pit. Ward Burton in the 22 car, running Jeremy almost all the way. And here comes Rusty right here, and watch it, he really gasses it to get ahead. This is where pit road speed stops. This is the line for the race out of pit road. I can, mm. So penalty stops coming for our pole sitter, Rusty Wallace, and for Jeremy Mayfield. Too fast, exiting the pits. And you just don't know how much of a penalty that's really going to be with only 10 laps to go. That this, is I know exactly how much severe. this going to be, my friend. $500,000 worth. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> I'm afraid that that was a costly little speeding ticket. It has been quite a night. We tried to start this race, and the green flag flew just as the rain fell in turn two. Kevin Harvick pounded the wall. Jeff Gordon got in the back of Jeff Burton. That left Michael Waltrip with nowhere to go, and all four of those drivers hauled out backup cars. Jeff Burton's backup car included an engine change. The engine in that car wasn't as fresh as they would like, so... They got him back. They put the cars back out under caution. It rained again. We did not get the race started. And then finally, here we are. We're racing. Jeremy Mayfield in the 12 car. He's going to pull down pit road, except his penalty. Our leader starting on the inside will be Ward Burton. That crew, Tommy Baldwin, elected two right side tires. For the most part, other than Jeremy Mayfield, they took four tires, but Tommy Baldwin, Ward Burton said, let's go for it. Now, while they're on pit road for their penalty, go ahead and get the left side tires. They're free. They're not free, but you can no, put them on. No, not. but 10 laps. I mean, now you're just saying, well, maybe they'll all go down here and hang into each other and a great big hole will open up and I'll go through the middle and come out in front. In 10 laps, someone will go home with half a million dollars. Someone else, 125,000 for second, 60,000 for third. Well, that payoff drops like a cliff. It does. But it's it's heavy up top where it needs to be. Somebody's going to go home with a headache, too. Now that was interesting what I heard Jeremy Mayfield's crew chief, Peter Suspenso, to tell him. He told him to lay back, lay back, and then just try to go by the whole field on the outside, which you can do once the green flag is played, and they're waving off the green flag. We're not going to go racing this time. Uh, yeah, you got to ride. You know, this is like... Like, you know, those motorcycle jumpers when they run up there and you think they're going to jump and then they miss the ramp? Well, that's what this is all about. This is to build the suspense. This is to get those drivers all revved up. The driver's on it. What's this all about? Why didn't they go? One to go signal again this time. 
Daryl, this is when your Saturday night restart skills come into play. Yeah, it is. And uh, you've got to be on top of your game here, buddy. I mean, you got to come down. You can't spin the tires. you got to be sure you got them cleaned up good, and particularly Ward Burton, who only took two. So he's got to be sure those left sides that were hot and sticky don't get a bunch of buildup on them. The other guys, their air pressures, I'm sure, are adjusted probably at recommended or even a little up for a 10-lap shootout. And you know, if Ward Burton's car was a little bit tight or pushy, sometimes changing just right side tires will free that race car up, make it turn better. For 10 laps, particularly. I mean, you know, if you had to make a long run, I wouldn't think that would be the, the right thing to do. But 10 laps, man, you don't know. It could be the perfect setup. But everybody around him has four fresh tires. Yeah, there's four Goodyear Eagles, brand new ones with stickers and paper flying off of them. Where are our experts' picks running? Uh, my, mine got black flag. Mine was doing pretty good till they hit pit road. He's going to restart here, it looks like, in about fifth position. Tony Stewart in the 20 car. And Mr. Hammond. He's dun, dun, dun. Looking pretty handsome there. Why did you have to call him? <laughs> he just doing what? He just taking humpies. That was humpies' pick.